The video that you're about to watch is how I found this amazing hidden gem high up here in the Swiss Alps. This is Oshensee Lake and it is absolutely amazing. People aren't talking about this on Instagram, they aren't talking about it on YouTube, and the travel vloggers, they're not here, vloggers. It, I had a hard time finding any kind of information about this place on how to get here, what to do here, but we found it last night just by accident. I was looking on Google Maps, scrolling, scrolling around, looking for something to do, and we found this place, and look, I mean, it's got waterfalls, it's got the lake, it's got mountains, it's got an alpine coaster, it's got ski lifts, it's got everything that you could wanna do as a tourist except there's no tourists. Look behind me, this is the summertime. There's a few people back here. Basically everyone that we've come across is speaking German. So they're most likely locals or from this region. This place is absolutely amazing and you have to add it to any Switzerland trip. You have to come here. It's, it's absolutely amazing and our minds are blown. We had no idea how good today was gonna be and this has been our best day in Switzerland. So check out this video, explain to you exactly how to get here and what there is to do when you get here. Hey guys, welcome back to another day here in Switzerland. I decided to switch today up. We were gonna go to Zurich. I'm switching it up a little bit and I said, you know what, let's find somewhere cool. I started looking on the map and stuff and I wound up finding this place called Ashinensee. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which means uh, Lake Ashinen. <laughs> and we are in the middle of nowhere. We're actually in a little town called Kondersteg. We had to take the train here. And let me tell you, if you're taking the train here, uh, if you're coming out of speeds, so you need to be in the front two cars of the train because partway through the journey, the train splits at one of the stops and the back part of the train goes somewhere else, which is the majority of the train. Just the front two cars proceed up the valley here and it winds up the sides of the mountains here in the Alps and we wind up in Kondersteg. And where we're gonna go is all the way up to the top of that hill. We're gonna take this lift back here uh, to the top and then we're gonna go even further than that to get to the lake. I hear it's beautiful. I've looked stuff up about it online. There's hardly any information. No YouTube uh, travel vloggers are coming here. No tour books are talking about it, nothing like that. But this place looks beautiful. And I said, you know what? Let's do something out of the ordinary. Let's do something that people aren't doing. So we're gonna check this out. So come along and let's go. So this is the view from the train platform. Uh, you can see that we're gonna go up here on the lift and then further than that is where the lake is back there. But look at this view up the valley. I mean, you got a waterfall over here and the river coming down. Just looking over the town of Kondersteg here. And this is the whole town. Everything that you see right here, this is it. Okay, so this town of Kondersteg is so cool. It is just so sleepy and quiet. There's hardly anyone here, hardly any tourists. The most people we've seen were two school groups that happen to be here right now. They were walking down the sidewalk. Other than that, it's just a couple people here and there sitting in a little restaurant outside and just hanging out. I mean, there's like nothing going on here. We're on our way over to the lift right now and I haven't even had to use like my map or anything like that. You just follow the signs for it. They have signs uh, just telling you turn here and turn here because there's only a couple streets here anyway. So it's not like there's a lot going on, but this place is just beautiful. And to me, this is what travel's about. Like we could have gone to Zurich and seen all the top sites there and I'm sure there's great stuff there and I do want to go there at some point, but I love this ad adventure travel of getting out, seeing things that most people aren't coming to see. The stuff that when you get back home, people say, oh, did you go here, did you go here? Because they've all been there. I like to be able to say, no, have, we went to Kondersteg, have you been there? We went to Oshinsee or however you say the name of this lake and that kind of thing. But so excited to get up here and see this place already having a blast this is already i'm sure a better decision than going to zurich today just made it out here to the lake y'all this is I mean absolutely amazing we haven't even got down to the lake it's down there but the views the mountains all the way around there's a couple of restaurants up here 
this was definitely, definitely the best decision for today. This is so beautiful. This is, this is Switzerland when you think of Switzerland. We kind of walked around Oshensi after we got our uh, lunch there, and y'all, this lake, I mean, it's unbelievable. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera, but it is blue as can be, and just surrounded by the Alps back here. It's absolutely amazing, and look, I mean, this is all the people. Like, there's, there's hardly anybody. There's a couple people on the trails here and there. There are people here, but it's just not a huge tourist destination, and it's set up to be one. It has the lift. It has the, the little electric cart to bring you up here. It has the restaurants at the top, little small hotel, things like that. So it's set up to have people, but there's very few tourists here. Everybody here that we've seen seems to be locals, you know, and by that I mean uh, everybody is speaking German for the most part. There's hardly anybody walking around that you're like, oh, there's an American right there. There's a, there's a Brit right there or whatever, <laughs> you know, like it is in, in most tourist areas over here. But out here, it seems like the majority of people are locals. Like this is just a local spot to come. I mean, this is the summertime. It's warm out here. It's a lake and there's, you know, I don't know, maybe a hundred people out here or something. It's, it's nothing. This is definitely like a hidden gem here in Switzerland. And look at the scenery. Does it get any more Swiss than the scenery back here and the little cottages and farmhouses up there? I mean, it's, this is absolutely amazing. This is, I, I know I've said it, but I'm so glad that we came here today. This was, this was the perfect day trip for us. heading up the trail here, leaving the lakeside of Hoshinensi, and I do not want to leave it. This is just absolutely beautiful. Perfect high alpine Swiss lake right here. So at the lakeside, just down from the restaurant, they do have this area where you can rent boats most of the day. They just closed up shop, but people have been renting boats by the hour right here so that they can go out and paddle on the lake, which actually goes way out and around that corner there. Okay, so the Alpine Coaster was really cool. I didn't vlog on it much because this one was crazy. Like, there's no one there to give you any instructions on how to use it. You just have to figure it out or maybe you've done one before and you know how to do it, which we have. And also, there's nothing to like hold on to at all. So whenever I was riding with Ross, I had to like just hold on to my own legs to try to keep me on the cart and there's no back or the seat back is only like that tall and I had this whole backpack on and so it's like pulling me out the back the whole time that was a crazy wild ride there's no automatic brakes on the thing and whenever I went down it by myself I was going so fast I hit this s turn I thought I was going to throw myself like off of the cart off the track it was it was it was very intense this is a uh <laughs> This is an, an advanced level alpine coaster, I think. Well, I, <laughs> I thought it was fine, but I think. But you, you don't push the doubles, limit like I do. I true. leave it wide open. I don't want to touch the brake at all. That's so. true. It doesn't have to be such an <laughs> yeah, adventure. Yeah. You can just calm down, but yeah, Justin has yeah, no see, chill. Yeah, see, I'm out here for the adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I want the adventure. <laughs> so we just came back down the lift and we're just walking through Kondersteg. Y'all, this, this little village, this town is absolutely gorgeous. And it's a great spot to come because it has. You know, just a few uh, restaurants, a few little hotels even, just some small ones. Just uh, the, the amenities that you need without being super touristy and just loaded up with everything. But it's a great place and I cannot wait to get back here. Like I said, this was just a complete accident that we even found this place and I'm so happy that we did. So if you are coming to Switzerland, make sure you come to Kondersteg and Oceanensee.